Hey, it's Frank from Public Spend Forum. We're continuing in our tutorial on how to use GovShop for your most efficient government market research. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find contract vehicles. I'm mostly talking about interagency contract vehicles like GSA schedules, GWACs, or cooperative contracts. So we'll cover how to search contract vehicles in GovShop, and then once you find a vehicle of interest to you, it's really easy to sort and filter the suppliers or contractors that hold a position on that vehicle. So let's get started. So I'm going to continue with our example from the prior videos and search Agile Development. And I see again, it pulls up results in three different categories. What we're interested in right now is the contract vehicles category. Now you see already we see four different contract vehicles that show up in this search result. We've got a GWAC um, and we've got a federal supply schedule. GWACs, of course, are government-wide acquisition contracts. Then we've got the federal supply schedules, cooperative contracts, which are used in state and local, and then it looks like a federal supply schedule or a GSA uh, contract. So, okay, so let's take a look at all of the contract vehicles on the landing page. Now here it is, our keyword agile development is retained and we can see all of the categories of contract vehicles that GovShop currently offers, GWACs and other IDIQs. This of course, like I mentioned, the government-wide acquisition contracts for technology or other IDIQs, things like STARS or the CIO SP3 contract vehicle or NASA SOUP, which is used in the federal government for you know buying uh, technology equipment. We've got federal supply schedules. Those are, of course, administered by the General Services Administration or the Veterans Affairs Administration or NASA also has the authority to, uh, to run federal supply schedules. We've got a category for cooperative contracts. Those are state, uh, primarily state and local vehicles that other agencies can use in the state and local government sector. Now, some GSA schedules are also cooperative contracts, so we list that as well under the Who Can Use column in GovShop. And finally, and we're working on this, but other transaction consortia, it, that's an opportunity to look at different organizations uh, that manage OTAs and have vendors and, and bodies underneath that consortia that can help you with other transaction authority. So let's take a look at one of these contract vehicles and I'm just going to pick CIO SP3 for small business. And here I see there's 100 plus suppliers that are small businesses and that are on the CIO SP3 vehicle. So uh, what's neat is I can just kind of browse through this and see what all these, these companies look like. Just read their you know, uh, basic descriptions that come up in the profile preview or I can browse and filter. For these suppliers. Now it might be useful to browse and filter the contractors under this particular vehicle a little bit more because as you see there's 179 vendors that are uh, qualified as small businesses in this CIO SP3 contract vehicle. Now let's just say I'm trying to make a socioeconomic determination. As always I can use my socioeconomic filters, the set-aside filters, and see exactly uh, the composition of companies that are here. So I see there's 19 suppliers that are hub zones. There are 67, you know, 8A companies. Uh, and I can just kind of keep looking at this and see, you know, exactly how many small socioeconomic categories are represented under this contract. So that's essentially the contract vehicle's utility. If you don't see a contract vehicle on here, or maybe you manage uh, an interagency contract or cooperative purchase agreement, and you would like it to be represented on GovShop, just suggest it, and we will be happy to add that, uh, including all the vendors that are under that contract to GovShop, so you can promote the vehicle, and maybe get a little bit more utility out of it. All right, that's it for now. In the next video, we're gonna talk about some of the more advanced features of GovShop, like how to create a list of viable suppliers as you're doing your market research, and then how to create a summary report, which is a really nice output that you can use in your market research reports and acquisition plans and contract files. Okay, thanks for watching.